In this HubSpot CRM tutorial, I will show you how easy it is to set up a fully functional free HubSpot CRM account. You'll learn how to add contacts and companies, connect your email, track deals, and schedule appointments inside HubSpot CRM in just a few minutes. Getting started is simple, and the free plan is surprisingly powerful. It's perfect for small businesses that want to stay organized without extra costs or commitments. You don't even need a credit card to sign up. By the end of this video, you'll know the essentials, feel confident navigating the platform, and be ready to explore how HubSpot can help you grow your business. Let's dive in. To get started, scroll down to the video description and click the first link you see. That'll take you straight to HubSpot's sign-up page. Once you're there, hit Get Free CRM to begin creating your account. You can sign up using your email address or an alternative account option. I'll type in my email, click Verify Email, and then enter the code HubSpot sends to my inbox. After that, click Next and create a password. Just ensure it meets the security requirements. Then click Next again. HubSpot will now ask you a few quick questions about your business. Type in your name, choose your role, add your company website, then click Next. Select your industry company size and enter your company name before clicking Create Account. Finally, you'll need to confirm you're not a robot. Just complete the verification and click Continue. HubSpot will then ask you to connect your email so it can sync contacts. For now, just click Skip. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. You'll also see an AI onboarding screen. Go ahead and skip that too. And that's it. You'll land right inside your brand new HubSpot free CRM dashboard ready to go. All right, now that you're signed up, let's take a quick tour. On the left sidebar of your HubSpot dashboard, you'll see all the tools you need. The first thing we'll do is add some contact data since contacts are the most important part of your CRM. There are two ways to do this, adding a contact manually or importing a list from a spreadsheet. If you're not already in the contacts area, click CRM, then contacts. I recommend bookmarking this for future reference. At the top, you'll see views. These are saved filters that show you a specific portion of your contacts. Right now, we're in all contacts. Below that are your filters. For example, you can filter by contacts created today. Here I have two. If you see a blue dot, it means HubSpot has a quick tutorial available for that feature. Once you have more data, it's worth checking out the advanced filters. And under the filters is your main contacts table. Each column here represents a contact property, such as name, email, or phone number, and you can sort or search using these fields. Let's go ahead and add one manually. Click Create Contact in the top right corner. For this tutorial, I'll use some sample data. I'll type in an email, first name, and last name. I'll leave myself as the contact owner, but you can also select No Owner if you're entering leads and plan to assign them later. Then I'll add a phone number, set the lifecycle stage to lead, choose new for the lead status and for the legal basis, I'll select legitimate interest, lead finally, click create. HubSpot will immediately open that contacts record. On the left hand side, then you'll see the contacts details. And from here, you can take different actions like logging calls, sending emails or adding notes. If you already have a spreadsheet or an export from another CRM, you can import it straight into HubSpot. Click import a file, then start import. Since we're bringing in contacts, select contacts and click next. If your file isn't ready, HubSpot provides an example template you can download. I've expanded on that file and I'll leave my version linked in the video description. Click choose a file, select your spreadsheet and then pick create and update contacts. This works if your list includes any contacts you've already added manually. Since I don't have contact to contact associations, I'll click next. Now you'll see the mapping screen. Here HubSpot matches your spreadsheet columns to its contact properties. If you have any unmapped columns, fix them or select don't import data in unmatched column. Then click Next. Finally, select the legal basis for processing the contact data and click Finish Import. The import may take a few minutes to complete. Once it's done, HubSpot will show a completion banner and send you a notification. From there, you can return to contacts and view all your newly imported records. Now that we have some contacts in our CRM, let's add companies and connect those contacts to the relevant businesses. From the navigation, click CRM, then companies. I'll bookmark this too. Just like with contacts, you can add companies manually or import them. For now, let's create one manually. Click create company and fill in the required fields, such as the company domain name and company name, then hit create. The record will look a little empty at first, but here's where it gets useful. You can associate contacts with this company. Click Add, 
choose the contacts you want, in my case, Christopher, Carol, and George, then click Save. Those contacts now appear as associated, and when I scroll down and click View Associated Contacts, the list is filtered to show only those linked to the company. One of the biggest benefits of a CRM is that it keeps all your communication with contacts in one place, allowing your whole team to view it. Let's say we want to reach out to George. Under Actions, click Email. A pop-up window will open, and here we'll connect to an inbox. I'll enter my email, click Next, and choose Gmail. After that, click Agree. This opens a new tab where you log into your account. Select your account, click Continue, and grant HubSpot the necessary permissions. Once that's done, HubSpot will check the connection. You'll then see an option to install the HubSpot extensions for Gmail or Outlook. These bring CRM tools directly into your inbox, but I prefer keeping them separate, so I'll click No Thanks for now. You'll see it listed here in parentheses as the sender. Please note that advanced features such as email sequences require a paid plan. However, even on the free plan, you can still utilize email templates to save time. Now let's set up our calendar so we can meet with George instead. Under Actions, click Schedule a Meeting, then choose Connect Your Calendar. Select your calendar type, click Connect, accept HubSpot's data notice, and sign back into Google when prompted. Allow access, and your calendar is now connected. I will head back to our selected contact and click on Schedule a Meeting, which will open the scheduling interface. Just add a title, pick a time, and click Save. The meeting will then appear on the Contacts Activities tab. If you'd like others to book time with you directly, HubSpot also gives you a meeting scheduling link. To set it up, go to Sales on the left, then Meeting Scheduler. Click Get Started, and HubSpot walks you through a quick setup. In about 10 steps, you can customize your availability. Now that we can track contacts and companies, the last piece of setup is Deals. Deals enable you to track potential revenue throughout your sales process, making forecasting much easier. To get started, go to CRM on the left sidebar and click Deals. I'll click Help Me Get Started, which opens a quick three-step setup. First, we'll name our sales pipeline. Think of the pipeline as a map that shows how deals progress through your sales process. On the free plan, you only get one pipeline, so I'll keep the default name. Next, let's look at deal stages. These are the steps a deal goes through. HubSpot provides defaults, but you can edit or add stages as needed. We'll also customize the closing stages. These mark whether a deal was won or lost. You can rename them, you know. Now let's create a deal. I'll name it HubSpot Deal, set the amount to $30,000, and select the stage as Appointment Scheduled. Click Next, then Finish. Now we can see our pipeline in action. The deal view works like contacts. You've got filters, search, and the option to collapse columns if your pipeline has lots of stages. Moving deals is simple. Drag and drop them to the next stage. To view details, click the deal title. On the right-hand side, you can associate contacts with this deal. I'll add George and Carol here and save. Now, if we open their contact records, you'll see the deal linked there as well. And that's a wrap for this HubSpot CRM tutorial. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap the bell so you don't miss future reviews and tutorials on CRM and marketing tools.